Hello, I'm Rolf Döberreiner. I'm Product Line Manager at AVL, responsible for commercial vehicles. Today, I'm going to talk to you from our hydrogen and fuel cell test center here at AVL in Graz about green truck technologies of the future. We at AVL are convinced that there are many ways to contribute to a more sustainable and climate-friendly environment. Right here at our hydrogen and fuel cell technology center, we work tirelessly on bringing up technologies to achieve these targets. A fuel cell electric drive is one key technology on the journey to carbon-free long-haul transportation. But especially as development and market cycles are quite long on such vehicles, we are looking for a way to adapt such technologies as seamlessly as possible. To achieve this target, the new vehicle shall have at least the same performance as a modern standard diesel truck with more than 450 horsepower and 400 kilometers of range. In addition, the current utilization like sleeping cabin and trailer size shall not be compromised. Ideally, truck manufacturers will not have to develop a new vehicle when transitioning to electric powertrains. So these were some strong boundary conditions. Now let's go to the AVL test track and have a look what our engineers came up with. Thank you all for the introduction of the targets for our fuel cell demonstrator truck. My name is Hans Peter Klein and I am the project manager. Today I am here together with my colleague Johannes Meyer, who is one of the lead engineers of our project. So what were the key challenges the engineers were facing when building the first concept based on Roar's vehicle specification? It was to balance the performance and range demand together with the limited available space on this truck. Here we're looking on a 4x2 tractor with a 3.8 meters wheelbase. So what were the key success factors to achieve those targets? We were able to develop and integrate the main system simultaneously. This enabled us to work on optimized solution in every area and to leverage every potential. Can you give me some examples for this approach? Of course. Looking at our modular AVL fuel cell system with a rated net power of 308 kilowatt, we were able to update the balance of plants to perfectly fit into the former engine compartment. Also the distribution of the auxiliaries like the fuel cell DC-DC or the air filter contributed to achieve that optimized package to fit in that high performance stack. Wow, that's very impressive. But this also means that you have to find a new solution for the e-drive. That's correct. Our experts for the e-drive system created a highly integrated e-axle solution, which did not require a space-consuming cadenic shaft anymore. It is rated with a peak power of 540 kilowatt and was tailored to the vehicle frame. Then we updated the rear suspension to comply with the increased package demand. That looks very space efficient. But this also means that the e-drive has way more power than the fuel cell system. Or do I miss something here? Very well observed. It would not be efficient to design the fuel cell for rare peak power events. As a result, we are using a booster battery to support short-term acceleration. On the other side, the battery helps significantly in increasing the overall efficiency, allowing for recuperation. Our predictive operative strategy ensures lowest energy consumption. So we can remove a typical retarder brake. In rare occasions, we use brake resistors if the recuperation performance is not sufficient. So if you're talking about efficiency, what is the current fuel consumption range of this vehicle? Currently, we're looking at the fuel consumption of 7.6 kg of H2 per 100 km in the European Vector Long Haul Cycle. With our tank configuration, we're aiming for more than 400 km of range in this prototypic configuration. A big challenge was the integration of the thermal system without changing the cabin or the frame. We are looking at three different temperature levels we had to consider with the fuel cell loop giving us the biggest challenge at all. Excellent! So can the truck run at full performance at 35 degrees Celsius ambient temperature? Yes, we were able to manage this challenge as well. Furthermore, we had to develop and integrate the complete high and low voltage architecture. 
while facing the challenges to find suitable components, especially for the 700 voltage level. To sum everything up, we did not only focus on the deep dive development of key systems, but also on every aspect of vehicle integration, like vehicle usability, vehicle safety, durability, serviceability and many other vehicle functions. It's really impressive what can be achieved when vehicle and system technology come together. We at AVL are proud to deliver solutions for the challenges yet to come. Join us, let's meet again to discuss future technologies for heavy-duty vehicles.